we're here to talk about Cocaine Bear. Uh, we did do our exclusive interview with Cocaine Bear. We'll link that uh, video in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we finally got to watch it because it's now on Amazon Prime. Right. Uh, for free streaming if you're if you're an Amazon Prime member. Mm-hmm. And I finally got to watch it. I uh, didn't see it, get to see it in theaters. Right. And I got to be honest, it's got the makes of being a campy horror yeah. animal like a Sharknado or, yeah. you know... Like a funny, campy horror film. Yeah. This was not that. No, it was a little too dark. It was not even just that, but then the comedy wasn't funny enough. Yeah. Like there. Gotcha. I see what you're saying. It it was, it bordered a bunch of different genres that never really nailed one genre. And then I felt, hey, it was overly gory for how campy they were trying to, but then it wasn't funny. Like it. It, to me, it didn't work. We wanted to like it, though. I wanted to like it. Of course it. we wanted to like it. It's Elizabeth Banks. Uh, I love yeah. Elizabeth Banks. Yeah, we want to, we want to love it. You As know? a director and a writer. Yeah. Uh, and an actress. Yeah. We love her 40-year-old virgin. Mm-hmm. I hope you got a big trunk because I'm going to put my bike in it. A line that's you know <laughs> going to go down in cinematic history. Effie Trinket in the Hunger yeah. Games movies. Pitch Perfect. She directs, yeah. uh, I believe, Pitch Perfect 2 and 3. Mm-hmm. I love Elizabeth Banks. Yeah. But this was bad it just yeah. it didn't work the the characters this yeah. is one of ray liotta's last films they did a dedication to him in the credits right i didn't like him enough yeah. even as a bad guy he just wasn't there wasn't yeah. i wanted more from ray liotta there wasn't enough character development i, I yeah. agree with you they just jammed a bunch of people in the movie yeah but they didn't really develop their characters at all and you're kind of like watching it going oh all right i guess so you like know the like three misfit kids who yeah. get their ass kicked in the bathroom stall by ice cube son yeah yeah they weren't really necessary no and then I mean, the I other guess... one was so nice with the with yeah. ray liotta's son when he's yeah. with ice cube and you yeah. almost like felt for the kid yeah but yeah, I don't. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, all I can say is if I if I saw this in theaters, yeah, and I paid full pop, yeah, <laughs> I'd, I'd be disappointed. Also, you know? and I'm trying not. I'm, I want to find some bright lights. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to find some glasses half full in this. All right, but I do have to mention how bad the CGI was on yeah. the bear. They, I felt like it's pretty you, hard to find a real bear that you can just jam some cocaine in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I just now. You know, there's yeah. not a lot of circus bears out there. Maybe in Russia that are high on coke that you can bring over to That's, you know, yeah, to the do, states. Do the do the tricycle. Yeah, maybe the there's unicycle. a couple of those, yeah, but I'm pretty bears. sure they're not like all over the place. You know, I'm just saying that the, their CGI. When I watch Jurassic Park, yeah. That CGI, I go out with that CGI. I think their budget was a bit. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, the budget on this, the CGI was low. Mm. Uh, so it was almost Super Troopers bear suit. Yeah, I would <laughs> prefer that. That's live action. That give give me two guys in a bear suit. What's that guy doing? Is he? Is he? Is he f-ing that bear? <laughs> I would have taken that. Yeah. So I think that the CGI, they they could have dumped a little bit more money into the CGI. I did like a lot of the actors. Yeah. Let me let me say that. Okay. So Ice Cube's son, who we love from the long shot. Yeah. I know before that he was in the uh he plays yeah. uh, the young version of Ice Cube in the in the uh yeah. the biopic about Straight out of NWA. Compton. Yeah. Yeah. He's got good comedic chops. He's really funny. He's funny. He's funny. I did like him. I didn't his character kind of didn't make sense. Yeah. But I like some of his lines because I like his timing and stuff. Yeah. And, I mean, the finger thing didn't make sense. Like, we both talked about that. No, but, I, I don't but, understand how he literally had no effect about having two fingers shot off. Yeah, he's a tough guy. But, but, uh, but anyways, I did like I it. I liked his Jordans. They were nice Jordans. Jordan 1s. Nice, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all the other... I mean, Kerry Russell is um, okay. Like, yeah, all right. It was, you know, and, and so with her story... Is her daughter and her daughter's friend are are in the park, yeah. but I will say this: the kids came across the cocaine, yeah, and they're eating it. Yeah. I don't think that was necessary. I that don't think scene, you need ten year olds eating cocaine. Yeah, that scene was. Irrelevant. It was just, and then they yeah. had no effect on them. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure that if you ingest, you know, granted they didn't snort it, that yeah. they yeah. ate it. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's in your system. That they ha- that had no effect on them. They were they were pretty chill. Yeah. 
Just saying. Yeah. Um, there was one actor that I, I recognized that I didn't actually think he was an actor. Mm-hmm. His name's Scott Sice. He okay. plays the ambulance driver with the mustache. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So he has a huge TikTok following. He does these hilarious videos where he complains about customer service, like working in customer service. Okay. That's so, a cool crossover that you yeah. go from TikTok to... Move, he went from being a viral TikTok comedian to yeah. uh, acting in Cocaine Bear. He got super killed. He's dies. He super gets yeah. killed. Yeah, yeah. The other ambulance driver, mm-hmm. the, the woman, mm-hmm. when she got ejected through the windshield when yeah. she hits the tree, yeah. the way that they shot that, instead mm-hmm. of seeing it from like a from a side angle, yeah. seeing it from that angle, yeah. I was like, that's. That was cool. Okay. Although I felt that the park ranger, yeah, we recognize that actress too. We just watched her in Your um, Honor. Your Honor. Mm-hmm. She plays um, Bill Cranston's uh, mother-in-law. Mm-hmm. Her, I did not need to see that. Her death. Yeah, she was a little over the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She like skids out from being in the back of the the ambulance and yeah. the door being open in the gurney and just scraping a. And yeah, I, I didn't need that. I didn't need that. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know what, the, I really don't, this one's a tough one. The re, okay, let's, let's bring it back to our world of mm. Funko. Yeah. They finally released the Funko Shop exclusive yeah. Cocaine Bear. Mm-hmm. And they didn't do anything else from the movie. So right. there's no other characters, mm-hmm. just Cocaine Bear Funko Shop exclusive and the common. Right. So they finally released that. But they're still available. Yeah. No, they missed the boat on a huge. So that movie came out in late February. Yeah. So why would you not drop it when people are wanting to see this movie before it coming out? And then it's been months now and you're like, I don't know if I like this movie Mm -hmm. enough. Like, I think they would have sold completely out if they had done that Funko Shop exclusive yeah, I don't like again. When, I don't. I don't understand Funko's production timelines and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I feel like that's something they gotta correct. Yeah, because you gotta strike while the iron's hot. You yeah. would have launched that Funko if the movie opened Friday and you launched that Funko Shop exclusive on Wednesday, on Monday. Yeah, you know. like all with all the people talking about that movie, you would have sold out for sure. Guaranteed, you would have sold out. Yeah. But then all the people went to see the movie that mm-hmm. weekend and were like, "What the." Right? <laughs> so a large percentage of those people are going to be like, well, I was super disappointed by this movie. Yeah. So now the pop doesn't mean anything to me. Whereas they would have bought it two days before the movie came out yeah. because everybody was talking about Cocaine Bear. The marketing behind the movie was good. Yeah. Like they made the commercials look. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It, this was going to be entertaining and yeah. crazy and fun. Yeah. It just didn't didn't work. But yeah. you're right. If they had released that Funko Shop exclusive mm. and the common... The week the movie drops, or yeah. right before the movie drops, it was sold out. Yeah, I'm now, not thinking it's easy to do still that. Cool. Yeah. The pop's still cool. I mean, but the they pop's clearly awesome. had a mold because they had announced it. Yeah. back then, and they had a glam of it. They just never released it. You're missing the timeline on so many of these things. Yeah, because they have a shelf life. We're learning that more and more. These these things have a shelf life. Yeah, you know. And now you waited so long to get this out. It's too late. Now, if you were a fan mm. of Cocaine Bear, all the power to you, just mm. not my bag. I can't give it a great recommendation. If you mm. have Amazon Prime, it's worth watching. It's something yeah. to watch for, for free on Amazon Prime. But if your kids like bears? No, don't don't show this to children. Maybe they're fans of Berenstain Bears please, or Please don't show this movie. Jungle to, Book. To children. You know? This is not Baloo. You no. Know? He had a balloon full of cocaine. I'm just saying, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, a bear is a bear. All right. Know? One positive takeaway. For me, it was some of the some of the angles on some of the scenes mm. and death scenes. I think Elizabeth Banks did a good job. Right. The scene at the very beginning when Ice Cube's son, uh, O'Shea, yeah. uh, is in the bar. And he looks at the bartender and goes, can I get the penne? Right, because the guys the, and the guys like pouring his heart out to him, and he's like, "Can I just get the penne?" Yeah. And then he just asks and goes, "Does it get, come with chicken or anything with it?" He's like, "No, it's just the noodles." I love that scene because again, that's that shows his timing, his timing, yeah. his comedic timing. Yeah. That scene just made me laugh my ass off. Yeah, so yeah. I agree. <laughs> what did you think of Cocaine Bear? Tell us in the comments. And for this show, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Fish K Dog. We'll see you again soon. Peace.